We also don't have the emotional resilience that comes with struggling. We didn't need to develop emotional resilience when we were learning at school because things went smoothly. Nothing went wrong. So it was all nice and peaceful. I hear it. I know it. I do it. I get it right. Carry on. Nothing really goes wrong. So I don't have to worry about negative feelings. I don't have to worry about bad emotions. I don't have to worry about looking bad. I don't have to worry about feeling bad. I don't have to worry about failure. I don't really have to worry about. So we don't develop tools to deal with failure because it's not part of our lives really we know how to avoid failure we know how to do things it's all quite smooth that means that at some point in our life when we do fail we don't have tools to deal with this this is not something we're used to doing we don't understand what this looks like we don't understand how this works it becomes very hard to bounce back from if our understanding of learning was built in a time where we were doing well, everybody was telling us how smart we were and what we were going to do with our lives and how amazing it was. And you've got such amazing potential and your parents must be so proud and, 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 and you can imagine it's going to be fairly hard to bounce back from, from any kind of failure. If that's what you're used to thinking that life should look like, things are just going to carry on like this. I'm not saying that you didn't put in effort. Of course you put in effort, but we don't have emotional resilience. We struggle to bounce back. I failed my very first test in my postgrad year um, in a subject that I got distinctions in undergrad for. I was devastated. It took me two months to recover from that. Not even recover. I was paralyzed for two months. I was terrified that I was going to fail. I didn't, I, I, I didn't know what to do. I was done. I had no emotional resilience to deal with the impact of failure. I had no tools to deal with it. Compare this to someone who fails throughout their school career, who struggles throughout school, struggles to get it right. They're used to dealing with the feeling and people may be saying weird things to them. They're used to having to redo things a couple of times. They're used to having to find different ways to do things. They're used to spending a lot of time trying and failing and trying again. That means from a very early age, they're developing the resilience of what it means to learn. A growth mindset has an understanding that learning is about doing, getting wrong, doing again, trying, putting stuff together, working on it, developing, improving, and slowly working at something, right? So a fixed, a growth mindset understands that part of the learning journey is the struggle. Struggling is part of the learning journey. I look at something and then I need to figure out what to do with it. And I have to put it like, figure it out where it goes in my head, what I'm going to do with it, what it looks like, how to work with it, how to deal with it. Da, 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 da. And then I slowly put it together, melt it, you know, meld it and knit it with the rest of my knowledge and I slowly figure it out. That's how a growth mindset feels. A fixed mindset feels that if you give me knowledge right now, I must know right now what to do with it and I must be able to get it right right now. Otherwise, clearly I'm not smart. All of us as babies are growth mindsetters, right? Because when we try to learn to walk, we all fall over repeatedly. And we're not worried. We just pick ourselves up and carry on. And we just keep going. Because we understand that in order to learn to walk, we don't really understand. But the reality is that in order to learn to walk, we, we need to fall over a bunch of times, develop skills, develop muscles, develop coordination. And the only way to do this is by doing it and getting it wrong and doing it and getting it wrong and doing it and getting it wrong a little bit less. That's a growth mindset. Somewhere in our lives, something creates that shift that that type of learning goes from being the way you learn to this is a bad thing. Struggling is bad. And that's where fixed mindsets come from. Smooth learning journeys, being praised for results, good results, getting things right quickly, and not having the opportunity or not having the need to build emotional resilience and because you don't really struggle.
you don't really struggle with stuff and you don't understand what struggling really is. 